the pattern we're going to tie today is going to be a blue wing olive soft tackle. Um, I've got a size 12 scud hook here in my vise, and I'm just going to use some olive nano th uh, silk 18 knot. Just get a nice thread base started. I'll just come in here with my scissors, and cut it off. I do have the hook on this kind of downward trajectory just because I've got to tie some material in at the very back and it's just easier for me to not have to fight um, everything sliding off the back end here. So I'm just going to take the thread back to where we're going to tie in our tails. Also not a bad idea when you're tying around the bends like this to have some wax on your thread. It'll just help things stick a little bit better. For the tail, I'm just going to go ahead and turn to a done uh, hackle, one of the bigger feathers from the the skin that I, I, I know I won't use. And we're going to want this tail to be relatively short, so probably less than half the, the length of the hook. I'm going to go ahead and take a wrap or two to secure those on the top, and then we'll look and see if we need to lengthen them or shorten them. We will lengthen them a little bit. We'll just go ahead and continue tying those down. It's fine to leave those in place. We're going to be dubbing the body here uh, with a little bit of a taper. So let's we'll just get started here. Let's come back down. I like to sometimes hold those tails on my fingers just to keep them on top of the shank of the hook. But you don't have to do that. You can just be careful with your wraps. I'm just going to be a little bit more intentional as I get down around the bend here. And that's going to be about right. Uh, one thing I like to do is take one wrap underneath of those tails, pull my thread fairly tight towards the eye of the hook and take a few wraps. And what that's going to do is just help that um, tail stay propped up. So next we're going to go ahead and add a medium piece of gold wire. I'm going to try to keep that on the my side of the hook. And I'm just going to get it started here and then I'm going to just draw it backwards so that I don't have to cut it off. And I'm just going to take wraps down almost to the tail. I like to start this wire a little bit short of the tail. Um, that way when I'm doing the dubbing, I can get a couple of dubbing wraps in front of that and then my wire is not going to mess around with my tail. For dubbing on the pattern, I'm going to just use some um, hair's ear dubbing. This is in an olive color um, for the blue wing olive. I want to get that dubbed on fairly tight. And once I've got that done, I'm going to lift that gold wire up a little bit just so we can get those couple of wraps right around the tail. Once we get there. And then I'm going to switch over and now go in front of that piece of gold wire. And we're just going to, you know, we're going to build up a moderate temp, uh, taper on this. I don't necessarily need it to be overly exaggerated, but I do want it to go and be a little bit thicker as we move up closer to behind the eye of the hook. Right now is a good time um, to go ahead and reposition my hook, so I'm just going to go ahead and loosen my vice jaws, and I'm going to just reposition that so I've got the hook eye just about parallel to the ground. I've just added just a little bit more dubbing to get us a little bit closer to the eye. And once we get it there, I'm just going to go ahead and let that thread hang. I'm going to get a hold of my gold wire now, and we're just going to take some open um, spiral wraps of this uh, gold wire to create that hint of a rib as we move up the body of the the abdomen here of this fly. And 
and it will sink right into that dubbing which will give you both the, the appearance of the gold rib but also the segmentation look because it is burying itself down into that dubbing. Once I've got it up here near the top I'll just take a couple of wraps to secure that in place and with that we're, we're pretty much done with the, the abdomen of the fly. I'll just go ahead and kind of wiggle that wire back and forth until it breaks off. We're going to do kind of an underwing and I'm just going to use some CDC and a medium uh, gray done. Um, you can go light or you can go dark. Um, I've got one of those feathers out here already. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and hold this by the tip and wet my fingers and stroke those some of those fibers back. Um, that will allow us to kind of tie this in in true soft tackle style. Once I've got that done, I'm just gonna I didn't put that in my mouth, I promise. Okay, I might have. With the tip kind of glommed together like that, I'm just gonna cut it to get us a nice little try in a tie in triangle. And with that triangle in place, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get that C D C secured to our hook. Let's take a few thread wraps here. See if I can get that to lay back down. Looks like we'll be good. From there, I'm just going to go ahead and take this in my hackle pliers, the stem on the end, just so we can stand this up. After you've got it stood up, go ahead and stroke some of those fibers backwards. Then we'll just carefully just take a turn around don't pull too hard the stem here can be pretty ginger not in color but is in very breakable notice each time I come up to the top I stroke those fibers back one more time get that all kind of face backwards that's going to be enough for me on this pattern so I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of wraps over that stem so I can lock it in place and I can just go ahead and release that from my hackle pliers and I'll come in from the side here a little bit so I can see the stem and cut it off right there at the stem Once you're there, just stroke those fibers back and we're going to wrap back over the top of them and that's going to help keep those pointed in that backwards direction that we want. So we've got a nice little underwing going on here um, with the CDC. Love CDC. Now to finish off the soft tackle, I'm going to just turn to a partridge feather. Um, this is a partridge skin that I uh, actually uh, bleached, which will give us really nice bright feathers. Um, and it actually turned out really well. I did that several months ago. So I've got that the fluffy stuff pulled off the bottom there. I've put the tip into the my hackle pliers. That's just an easier way sometimes to stroke those fibers backwards in preparation for tying this in. So once I've got those pretty good and backwards, I can go ahead and release from my hackle plier. And just like we did with the CDC, um, I'm going to cut the very tip of this off to give me a little triangle tie in point here. So with that triangle ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of stroke some of that CDC back. Looks like we trapped one of the fibers, but I can work with that. So I'm just going to secure 
that partridge feather. Looks like it's a tiny bit long, so I am going to clip it. It's hanging over the eye of the hook just a little bit, and I, I do not want to. It's really hard to tie a fly on your line when the hook eye has got feathers um, stuck through it. And that will let us clean it up a little bit better. And then I can just take some wraps over the top of that. So also we've got here is I've put my thread in the bobbin cradle. It'll just allow me to work with this a lot easier. So I'm just going to grab hold of the stem of this feather with my hackle plier. I'm going to wet my fingers pretty good. And similar to the CDC, we're just going to stroke those fibers backwards and take one wrap at a time. And then similar to last time, I like to stroke them backwards again as soon as I get back up to the top. And we only have really a portion of a wrap available left, so that's going to work out just fine. In fact, I'm going to do something unusual that I haven't done before on these videos, but I'm going to tie that off upside down. It's just going to be a little bit easier for me to get at that stem than to try to wrap that thick stem right up around the eye of the hook. I'm just going to get myself a couple of good and tight thread wraps in so that I've got that soft tackle locked in place. And with that, we're going to be good to release that from our hackle plier. We'll come in with our scissors, and we're going to cut that stem off. Then we'll go ahead and turn this right back up the right way. And then similar to the... CDC under hack, under uh, kind of wing that we have. I'm going to stroke those fibers backwards. I'm going to take a couple of wraps over the top of those fibers and that will just keep that soft tackle pointing backwards. And then we'll just build up a, you know, a nice little head here. I like to do that starting at the eye and then kind of moving up. So last fall we'll just grab our whip finisher. We'll work from behind the the eye back towards where that soft tackle begins. Go ahead and release that. I'm going to grab my thread cutter, turn my vise. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll cut that thread right off. And with that, we're good. Um, this is a great fly pattern. Um, I love it. I'll usually tie it a bit smaller. I tied it larger just to be easier to see. But the blue wing, olive, soft tackle. Throw yourself the hook in the vise. Give this one a shot. Mm -hmm.